Good afternoon, everyone. This is Nadia Sobrati coming to you live from Queens, New York at NadiaSobrati.com. How is everyone doing today? Where are you guys? Actually, I'm going to share this in, in my fan page. So when you guys jump in, please uh, say hello and let me know where you're from so I can greet you all. All right? Guys, it's so hot in New York. It's so hot. It's like I wish if I could just cut my hair off right now at this point. It's really, really hot. This is our summer and it's, you know, it's definitely um, beach weather. So give me about a minute. I just want to share this. Into, hey, James, how are you? I just want to share this into my fan page and a few other groups. Hey, hey uh, Nika, how are you? So I want to wait for Facebook to actually build my audience. I want some more people on here. Um, because there's so, uh, guys, with this topic that I'm actually going to talk about, it's going to help so many of you. Hey, Mist, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Well, hello. What are you guys doing? Oh, man, it's so hot. It's really, really hot in here, you know, in New York today. And I don't like having an AC on because for some, I just don't like the AC, you know? Hey, Devin, how are you? Hey, Alan, thank you for joining me. Thank you, guys. I want to wait for Facebook to build my audience a little more because, um, you know, I, I want to wait. Facebook is actually still building my audience right now. So what have you guys been up to? So I'm going to get ready to start. Hey, Rudy, how are you? Thank you for joining me, guys. Hey, Jazz, how are you, beautiful? Thank you for joining me. Just give me like 30 seconds. Facebook is still building my audience. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start now. All right. So good afternoon, everyone. What are you guys doing? I'm so happy all of you guys are here. Um, I missed you all yesterday, but as you know, again, I was so busy behind the scenes, guys. I didn't go to bed until like three o'clock this morning. I just worked for, I don't know, I, I stopped counting the hours now at this point. I just stopped counting the hours and I just go to bed, wake up, take a shower, have breakfast and back working. So today I wanna shoot you guys a quick video. I wanna talk to you all. Hey, hey, Esmeralda, thank you for joining me. Um, I wanna give you guys some tips because I know many of you, you know, are struggling with this, right? Uh, you know, um, when it comes to cold market prospecting versus uh, warm market prospecting, right? And this is a great topic because, you know, I, I want to give you guys some tips and um, help you out here, all right? So this is what we're going to talk about. Okay, so as we all know, you know, cold market prospecting, guys, you know, this, these are like people you don't know, that you've never met personally, all right? It's people you met on, on, on social media, uh, you know, it could be LinkedIn, you know, Periscope, uh, Twitter, YouTube, you know, any of those social media platforms, right? But these are people you've never, ever met in person, but you've met online and you started building a relationship and then you started, you know, started building trust with them, right? And, um, you know, guys, when it comes to cold market prospecting, you have a better chance of uh, recruiting a lot more people than you do with your warm, with warm market prospecting, right? So let's talk a little bit about warm market prospecting. And you know, warm market prospecting, guys, I don't do it at all. I don't do it. I don't recruit my family. I don't recruit my friends. I don't recruit my neighbors. I don't recruit any of them. Because, you know, my line of business is totally different than what they do. So it'll be a total waste of my time. Like, you know, if I had a product, right, and I wanted to, I wouldn't recruit my mother. I wouldn't recruit my friends. I'll give it to them as a present. I will give it to them as a present. I will not recruit any family members, not even my sister or my brother or fa anyone that's in my warm market or even my prof you know, uh, colleagues, I, I, will, I will not even go there with friends, all right? Because it's a waste of my time. I would send them, a, I, I tried it before, don't get me wrong, I tried it before and one of them sent me a message because you know, she's a real estate agent and when I first came, launched this, this product, I figured you know, it'll be able to help her, right? And I was just thinking about helping, helping her, 
It had nothing to do with me trying to pitch her to sell or anything. I sent her a message. I was like, hey, take a look at this video. I mean, I didn't even have to prepare her for that because she's my friend. All right? So I just said, hey, just take a look at this video. So she wrote me back and she goes, hey, Nisha, no, this is not for me. But thank you anyway. I wish you luck. What kind of bullshit is that? But, you know, and so I sent her back a message. And I said, listen, I was just trying to help you, you know. So if you're friends with someone for so long and they responded like that, I don't have time to waste on that crap. Obviously, they don't need help. And that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to help. I wasn't trying to recruit them in, into my, my business to be an affiliate. I was just showing them a way. Listen, because as we all know, you know, real estate, real estate people, they struggle sometimes because they can't get people to rent their apartment or get people to buy their houses that they're selling and all this stuff, right? Anyway, that was the only first person and last person I ever tried my wall market. I've never tried anyone else. And this was recent, guys. This was like a month ago or maybe three weeks ago. Anyway, forget about that issue. But yeah, I will never prospect my wall market. You know, I, I will never try to get my family or my friends to join me on my opportunity, right? So my call market is huge. It's huge. I have, I don't know, maybe 16, 1700 people on Twitter that are targeted, targeted followers, right? I could prospect any one of them, you know? But I've been so busy on Facebook because I have like 2000 something people on Facebook in my call market that I've built that I've built a really strong relationship with uh, through the past seven months that I've been in this business and they've been following me they've been following me and, and they know who I am so you know these are the people I reach out to I reach out to and they know that I'm not trying to prospect them they know that I'm trying to help them so you know there's a big difference so when it comes to cold market prospecting guys this is your best bet because you're gonna get a lot of people to um, actually join your opportunity or, or become a customer all right because guys you know once you start doing attraction marketing people are gonna start following you when you think people are not watching you everyone is watching you and they're watching you because they want to make sure you know what you're doing before they decide to join you on, on your on your venture or whatever it is all right so let's talk a little bit more let's get a little deeper into our cold market prospecting and how you can start prospecting uh, how you can start adding people that are in your niche, right, uh, in your friends list. Because guys, you want people that are uh, just like you, people that are your same, your type, your line of work, all right? It could be, you know, entrepreneur, network marketers. It depends, it depends. You Only only you guys will know what you do and, and, and who is your target market, right? But for me, what I do is, you know, I go into some of these public figures group and I like following Eric Worre. I like fo following Ray Higdon because I've learned so much from them you know when it comes to network marketing and affiliate marketing right I've learned so much from them and I've also learned how to prospect from their groups so what I do is right I will go in the search section on Facebook and I will type in Eric Worre right and I will go in there and I will start doing some research on the people that are in you know that likes his posts that comments on his posts and stuff like that so you know and guys this takes some time it takes a little bit of work but if you want to start building your list with the right prospects, this is how you have to do it. I mean, I wish if I could do a screen share right now, but OBS is not working on, on my computer system. But what I'll do is, you know, I'll do a training, a Zoom training, and I'll post it for you guys so you guys can see exactly how uh, you can, um, you know, start prospecting people, the, the right type of people, uh, you know, to, to start building your friends list, okay? Because listen guys, you don't just wanna have random people in your friends list. You're not gonna go anywhere. You're not gonna go anywhere with random people and you're just gonna waste your time. They're not gonna buy your products. They're not gonna join your, your opportunity, all right? So this is what you do. You go in a search section on Facebook, right? And you, and you know, th there's so many different public figures, but these are the two that I follow, all right? I follow Eric Worre and Ray Higdon. So what you can do is you go in there and you want to type in Eric Worre and then you're going to see like so many people likes his posts and, and, and comments, right? So you can start doing some research on them. You know, click, click, you know, all the likes and find out everyone that, you know, start going through each one, each one. And you want to look for if they're business owners, if you have a common interest in them, all right? If, they, you know, if they're doing network marketing, if they're a business owner, Affiliate marketing. These are the things you want to look for to start uh, building your list with your prospects. All right, and what you're gonna do is, guys, 
if you find someone that you you like you know and and you, you have a common interest with and you see that you can do business with this person you don't want to send them a friend request right away you want to build this relationship a little bit let them notice you get let them to know who let them know who you are so what you're gonna do is you're actually going to um, click like on their photo or you can make a little comment maybe they have a quote right it could be something and you just want to be like like make a little comment wow this is nice or you want to you know guys you know what's gonna take you a long way too? when you start giving people compliments all right this is another thing too but you're not gonna do that when you start prospecting because people will be like oh this you know they might take it the wrong way and there's there's you know certain types of compliments you should give and there's also certain types of compliment you shouldn't even give and I will get into that in a little while so what you're gonna do is you're gonna like their pictures you're gonna like do some really like serious research scroll down okay scroll down and, and really get in there and dig deep into their profile dig deep into their profile find out what they're about get to know who they are all right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna like a couple of their pictures and leave it as that oh you can follow them all right what they're gonna do now because of course they're gonna get a notification that hey this person likes my um, you know my picture or whatever they're gonna they're gonna get a notification what they're gonna do guys they're gonna go into your Facebook and they're gonna do the same thing that you just did to them they're gonna go through your whole Facebook they're gonna go through your whole Facebook they're gonna start searching around so this is why it's very important you guys post uh, you know don't post negative things if you're out drinking and getting drunk and all of this stuff you don't want to post those things because you guys are professional people are gonna judge you by the way you carry yourself all right people are gonna judge you by the way you carry yourself especially in this business this is a tough business and if you're not doing it correctly you're gonna be struggling for a very very long time all right so this is a great way you know you can start prospecting right and then you know they're gonna start looking at your stuff liking your pictures and what you want to do is you want to you know guys you want to start liking their pictures you know this is how you create engagement all right and then you know once they start liking your stuff then you can send them a message hey you know I've been following you for a couple days I see that we have a common interest we have a lot of mutual friends you know uh, in common you know is it okay for me to send you a friend request at that point the relationship is already established all right so this person is gonna start following you all right because I've had this happen to me guys like a lot of people that has joined me they will follow me for a long time before they even sent me a friend request all right so this is this is what you guys want to start doing and this is how you're gonna start building your cold market prospects and how you're gonna add them to your friends list so you want to do like 10 a day all right you want to do 10 a day you want to build that relationship guys because these are people you're gonna be doing business with these are people you're gonna be doing business with so you want to build that relationship you know and and you want to post um, motivational things you know because guys when you think people are not watching you everybody's watching you because they want to make sure uh, you're a leader and you can lead them and teach them all right and this is the reason why a lot of people are struggling in this business because they're not doing this correctly they're just accepting a lot of friends a lot of crazy people from all these different things you can't do that you need to know your target audience and you need to figure out you know how you're gonna do this but yeah guys um, cold market prospecting is the way to go hey anchor how are you where have you been haven't heard from you in, in, in months Yes, guys, so cold market prospecting, okay? Forget about your family and friends. And you, you know what? You're never going to run out of people to talk to. Oh, that was the reason why you... Oh, really? That was the reason why you followed me? Oh, thank you, Bobby. Well, you know, I guess you must have been following me for a long time because I have a lot of people that joined me on, on this venture that were following me for a long, long time before they actually joined me. So guys, this is very important. You need to position yourself as a leader. If you want to be successful in this business, you want to give value. You want to create, uh, you know, you want to create valuable content. Okay, you want to give a lot of value. You, you want before you can even ask for a sale, guys. You want to put out a lot of content out there. You want to put out a lot of value. Okay, because people join people. They're not going to join your opportunity. All right, they're going to join you. And they're gonna join you number one because they look up to you as a leader number two they can learn from you number three they like you and number four they trust you this is what this business is based on okay people are not gonna join you because of your product they can get this product anywhere else from anyone for a matter of fact so if they don't trust you if they don't trust you 
they're not going to join you. All right. So when it comes to your Facebook uh, profile and and your and, and the content you, you're actually um, you have in your in your Facebook, guys, make sure you are producing valuable content that's going to help people. This is what's going to attract uh, your 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 um, your target market. Okay. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Thank you. You know, I, I, it was a lot of training to get to this point. A lot of training, a lot of studying and, and, and learning and learning how to do this correctly. Oh, you're watching my video after a long time? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think you dropped off the face of the earth. I think the last time I spoke to you, Anchor, was like probably, I don't know, maybe four months ago. We're in summer now. This was like in the winter time. Let me see. I got a lot of messages on here. Um, you know, um, Alan, you're right. You know, when you start, uh, when you, um, pros prospecting your family and friends, actually a warm market, it, it, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Sometimes they won't even want to talk to you because the next time they see it, they're going to be like, Oh my God, this person's going to try to prospect me or, or she's going to try to sell me something. They're going to hide from you. They're going to hide from you. So listen, guys, don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time getting your family and friends to join you on your opportunity. All right. Just go straight and start doing your cold market prospecting. And, and I just discussed how you can start building your list. How you can start building your list. And, and this is a great way to do it. This, this is, guys, this is what I'm doing. This is how I've, I've, I've been taught how to do this. And this is what I'm teaching you guys to do. Because I want all of you to become successful as well. So just don't just accept anyone, you know, uh, on your friends list. Because you're wasting your time. You want to have targeted followers targeted people all right because you're gonna be doing business with them and when it comes to attraction marketing you build an audience you engage with your audience and you sell your and you sell to your audience and all of this is based on trust all right guys any questions anyone any questions I hope you guys um, I hope I explained you know the difference between uh, cold market prospecting and, and warm market prospecting let me see I have a lot of you guys on here. Hey, hey, Casey, how are you? Hi, Jason, thank you for joining me. But guys, I'm sure a lot of you out there were actually struggling, right, with cold market prospecting and warm market prospecting. If you're solely, solely like focused on, on warm market prospecting, guys, you're not gonna become successful in this, in this business. Yes, granted, you might get one or two people signing up with you, like your family members, maybe because they feel sorry for you. They're going to do it because they feel sorry for you, all right? But you, you really can't build a solid foundation on that. What's going to happen when you run out of your warm market? And, and warm market prospecting is so much harder than cold market prospecting. It's so much harder. I don't waste my time. You know, I get on Facebook and I talk to everyone. But you know what, guys? Everyone knows me now because I've built that relationship through the months. I've built that relationship. And guys, I'm going to give you a tip. Everyone that likes your pictures on Facebook or likes your comment and um, you know I, what you what you want to do, you want to go to their page, you want to start liking their stuff, you want to start uh, you know you want to start uh, commenting on their stuff as well. Okay, guys, this is how you're gonna start building a relationship with them, and this is how they're gonna start following you. All right, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but you could do it. It's not gonna take you months. All right. So everyone that, that likes your pictures, everyone that comments on your pictures, you want to do the same thing to them, guys. This is how you're going to build a solid relationship based on trust, and they're going to start doing business with you. Everything I'm teaching you guys today, this is exactly the blueprint that I have used for myself. And as you can see, if you go to my Facebook, you'll see there's a lot of engagement, a lot of engagement. And this is the same thing you know, I do with Instagram. Uh, but I'm not even generating leads on Instagram because now I'm so busy on Facebook. Facebook has like about close to, I think, six, six billion active users. Facebook is huge. You know what I mean? So this is a, um, to know which of your business is best for them. I don't understand what you, mean, what you mean, Jason. Like which one of your business is best for them? You're talking about your warm market or your cold market? I, I personally don't recruit anyone from my warm market. I don't ask my friends and my family to buy my product. Or sh I don't even show them. They, my friends and family have no idea what I'm doing. 
They have no idea what products I have, what products I don't, they, they have no idea. Even my audience, they don't, you guys have no idea what, what type of products I have because I do attraction marketing. I don't, when you do attraction marketing, you're not gonna, you know guys, you don't mention your product. You lead with value. And when you feel lead with value, this is how you attract your audience and, and attract people that want to do business with you. All right? So that's all I wanted to share. But uh, Jason, I don't get what you're saying. Uh, oh, one market. Okay. To know which of your business is best for them. Jason, I don't recommend, um, I don't recommend uh, recruiting anyone in your war market. It doesn't matter if the product is good for them or not. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if the product is good for them or not. I don't recommend your war market. Uh, try to build, you know, uh, focus more on building uh, your list in your cold market and building that relationship. Because guys, once you start building this relationship with these people, you're always going to do business with them. You're always going to do business with them. And this is going to be a very long term relationship. Even though you guys have never met in person, let's say you never met in person, the trust is already there because they know who you are. And you know, guys, I, I've built a solid relationship with people that I met on Facebook, on Facebook. Some of them I've never met. Uh, some of them I met two months ago in Miami, you know, for one of the events that I went to. And that, that relationship has gotten even stronger. We talk to each other every day. You know, we're always on Zoom. We're always doing Skype or Facebook Live. Like, we're always, you know, and it's like they're right here with me. You know? But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm just trying to catch up by guessing what you mean. Oh. So how do you get sales? How do I get sales? I do attraction marketing. I don't promote my products on Facebook. I don't, you know, I don't, as you can see on my Facebook page, you guys will have no idea what products I have because I do attraction marketing. All right. And, and you know, what I do is I reach out to people. I call them, but these relationships are already built. I call them. I'd be like, listen, I have something that you might want to look at. You know, I don't need to like pitch my friends I, because I built that relationship with them already. You know, so I don't need to pitch them. They already know who I am. So I don't need to pitch them or spam. I don't, I don't spam people. Like I would call my, my friends, my cold market. Well, they're my friends now because I built that relationship. And guys, it took time to build that relationship to get to that point for people to trust you. Oh, you wasn't here from the beginning? Jason, I was talking about um, uh, cold market prospecting versus warm market prospecting. Hey, Manisha, how are you, beautiful? Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. But yeah, you know, so I was giving you guys some tips. You can always watch the replay. But I just wanted to give you guys some tips, you know, because, uh, you know, people are reaching out to me and they're like, Nadia, I'm still struggling. Guys, there are ways to build this business. And a lot of people that are trying to make it in this business, they're not investing in, in the training. They're not investing in the courses. They're not investing in anything and they just keep spamming people. You're not going to become successful. If you keep spamming people and you don't know what you're doing, uh, the experienced marketers and stuff like that, they will not do business with you. They will not do business with you because all of us, you know, we actually, you know, we're, we're investing in a lot of training, a lot of learning, and this is an everyday thing. This is an everyday thing. Hey, Bahari, thank you for joining me. Hey, Andrew, how are you? All right, guys. So cold market prospecting is the way to go. All right, guys. So any questions? Any questions? If you guys have any questions related to this topic, I'll be more than happy to answer them right now. Okay, guys. Well, um, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, if you want to send me a message, send me a message on Messenger. Or uh, send me a message at Nadia and I'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, reach, uh, get back to you and, and uh, help you out with whatever you need, whatever you need. All right. Uh, coal market. What about coal market? Jason, you want to know more about coal market prospecting? Coal market prospecting is like people on Facebook, people on Facebook, all the social media platforms. You know, and you have a better chance of, because you're never going to run out of people to talk to. But when it comes to one market prospecting, these are your family and friends, you know, and it just, it's just, you're not going to go far with that.
Yes, cold market prospecting is the way to go. Cold market prospecting is the way to go. Definitely. This is all I do, guys. I, only one person I talk to. I wasn't trying to recruit her. She's a friend of mine. And I, you know, I was like, oh, check this out. And, and she sent me a message, you know. Um, and she said, she was like, hey, Nish, you know, I'm, th this is not for me. So whatever. And that was it, you know. But yeah, I don't prospect my, my family and friends. It's a waste of my time. Even if I find something, even if I have something that is going to benefit them and I know it will benefit them and help them with their business, I'd rather not even mention it to them because they don't understand when you try to help them, you know. But my cold market prospects, they see that because we're all in, in the same business, you know. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for joining Oh, I have more people jumping in. <laughs> All right, guys. So what's going on? Talk to me. Any questions? Any questions? I'll answer them. Hi, Farid. How are you? Guys, it's so hot in New York. It's our summer. And uh, look, my hair. My hair is so long. It's so, it's so hot. I need to put the AC on, but I'm allergic to the AC. I end up losing my voice, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it's so hot. It's so hot. Today's like a perfect day for the beach. Perfect day for the beach. But I have so much work to do that I, I can't um, go to the beach right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I will talk to you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.